I'm Pastor George Borkart, and this is another Higher Things Video Short. The Anti-Catholic Paradox, and that's the subject of today's Higher Things Video Short. Like, subscribe, ring the bell, get the app, share, donate. If you like what we're doing in Higher Things, pass it on the faith to the next generation. Like our videos, subscribe to our YouTube channel, ring the bell for notifications, get our app, it's available on all major platforms. Share, sharing is caring when it comes to Higher Things content. And donate. Your tax-deductible gift to Higher Things keeps us passing on the faith to the next generation. And we need that gospel. Our kids need this gospel in these dark times. So I'm a former Roman Catholic. I took the Luther route into um, Lutheranism, Protestant Christianity. Um, something that astounds me is this paradox that so much of, of Protestant Christianity is concerned with not being Catholic, not specifically not being Roman Catholic, but in the process of their, of their not being Roman Catholic, their doctrine for salvation ends up strikingly similar. What I mean by this is the Roman dot teaching for salvation is salvation by faith and works. Not by faith alone, that is expressly condemned by Trent and um, and still in Vatican II. Um, and, but not works, but faith and works. So you believe in Jesus and you live a good life and God saves you. Now, so often Protestant, mainline Protestant denominations in their attempt, and, 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 they're, and they're very, very, very clear, not Roman Catholic, and they'll talk about faith, but what they end up doing is talking about faith and works for salvation's sake. Here's what I mean. Jesus saves you by faith alone, but you got to make a decision for him. Jesus saves you by faith alone, but you got to make him the Lord of your life. Yes, yes, you're saved by grace alone through faith in Jesus Christ. But if you really want to be a Christian, you'll speak in tongues. Uh, Jesus saves you by faith alone, but you can't, you know, just, you, you got to repent. You got to, you got to repent. You got to believe. You gotta, uh, there's a step of process that you have to do. Jesus saves you, but you got to be baptized again. Jesus saves you, but you got to not drink. Jesus saves you, but I can't dance. I can't sing. Now, I love these other churches. But to my ear, being someone that came out of Rome, these are strikingly similar doctrines. Again, whenever you have Jesus and something else, that's not faith alone. If all three tires say Jesus, but the fourth tire is you, your decision, your change in behavior, your decision, uh, you're um, making Jesus the Lord of your life, you're speaking in tongues, you're something. The wheels of the bus go round and round. The one tire is going to sink, is going to stop the whole thing. And then the intention is, we don't even know we're doing it. All right, we, we have no idea that we're doing it. But yet we do. So we have to be very, 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 very mindful, not only of this paradox, but how works relate to our faith, especially how we express works and our faith. Because if you, and, and, I'm, and I'm, I'm not slamming my Baptist friends, I love my Baptist friends. All right. It, what I'm saying is, is when you say Jesus died for you, but, and then there's something that you do after that, there's really no difference between Jesus died for you, but you need to live a good life. The place of works in faith, uh, in the Christian faith, is fruit of faith, result of faith. Um, a good tree produces good fruit. Where there's faith, there'll be good works. Th this is um, evidence of a healthy tree. But it has nothing to do with salvation. Again, this is the paradox which I've observed uh, again in my, in my life, having been a former Roman Catholic, that these two things couldn't be more polar opposite. If you went into a Roman church, it's Roman church. If you went into um, SBC, 
um, non and nom, completely different. But yet, the teaching, strikingly similar when it comes to so, uh, sotura, uh, so, so, uh, salvation. So, again, either Jesus saves or we save. And if it's Jesus and something else, then it's really the something else that matters most. Um, you see this in life. Um, uh, the Democrats have control of this of the U.S. Senate. Okay, whether you love them or not, they do. But if they don't, if one of them disagrees with the whole of them, then they can't do what they want to do. Again, if it's ninety nine percent Jesus and one percent you, the that 1% is going to mess everything up because you're the unstable part of this equation. Jesus alone saves by his holy life and his bitter suffering and death. The answer to why you're saved is that Jesus died for you. The answer to why you'll go to heaven is because Jesus died and rose again for you. The answer to why you will get eternal life while you're a saint, while you're holy, is solely rests on Christ and what he did for you. Don't accept anything less. I'm Pastor George Barkhart, and this has been another Higher Things video short.